the Duke of Edinburgh will not face further action after giving up his driving license last week. The CPS said it would not be in the public interest to prosecute Philip. The Duke's Land Rover collided with a Kia near the Queen's country estate in Norfolk on January 17. The 97-year-old miraculously escaped unharmed despite his car flipping onto its side. But the driver of the Kia Ellie Townsend required hospital treatment and passenger Emma Fairweather broke her wrist. Ms Townsend's nine-month-old baby who was traveling in the car was not injured. Days later, the Duke was back behind the wheel without his seat belt on, sparking a backlash and leading police to issue him with a warning. After the Duke surrendered his driving license, Ms. Fairweather insisted the roads would be safer. She told the Sunday Mirror, undoubtedly the roads will be safer now. It won't have been easy for him to make as it is a loss of independence, but he can work around it. Following the crash, Philip penned a letter to Ms. Fairweather apologizing for his part in the accident. The letter said, I would like you to know how very sorry I am for my part in the accident at the Babingley Crossroads. I have been across that crossing any number of times and I know very well the amount of traffic that uses that main road. It was a bright sunny day and at about three in the afternoon. The sun was low over the wash. In other words, the sun was shining low over the main road. In normal conditions I would have no difficulty in seeing traffic coming from the Dusingham direction. But I can only imagine that I failed to see the car coming, and I am very contrite about the consequences, Philip added, I was somewhat shaken after the accident. But I was greatly relieved that none of you were seriously injured, as a crowd was beginning to gather, I was advised to return to Sandringham House by a local police officer. I am deeply sorry about this injury. I wish you a speedy recovery from a very distressing experience. I have since learned that you suffered a broken arm.